you hit deal, weekly deal, and there it is right there. Um, this was an extremely good value in, in my estimation. Uh, for as little as $25, um, your business uh, could have that deal of the week up here. We have 52 available each year. Um, that was the first year. I think moving forward, we're going to offer several deals a week to make it available to more people as the mobile site becomes more popular. Everyone also knows that the demographics about you know, the traditional website versus the mobile site, handheld technology is definitely the wave of the future. Uh, every week, every year, the number of people who go to our website from a desktop or a laptop, you look at the graph, just Google it online, it's going straight down and mobile is going almost straight up. So, so that's why we're spending the so much deal time. of the week? <coughs> the deal of the week is yeah. Double Tree Beach Resort by Hilton in Tampa Bay, North Brighton Beach. Um, again, these are some more. The top one there is a very big word, and I'm sure you, you guys know what it is. We have competition uh, all over for, if, if you've ever been on uh, TripAdvisor, I think this is a, a great example. If you go to our site, we fixed that this year, though, by the way. TripAdvisor, who advertises when you go to Safety <coughs> Beach? Sarasota does, Fort Myers does, Orlando does. Um, there's a lot of fishing in other people's pond going. It's part of the game, um, and you know we, we do it to a certain extent in places that make sense for us. We corrected that this year. I'll get to that in just a bit. TripAdvisor, that's it. Um, how many people here who have TripAdvisor presence actively maintain those presence? Let, let me just see it. I can't stress to you enough um, how important that is. My background, real quick, is I worked for 15 years in New York, uh, first for Random House for Photos Travel, but then for Zagat. Zagat was the original user-generated content. What's your opinion of this? What's your opinion of that? Um, they have an amazing brand. TripAdvisor has a much larger brand than they do. The amount of weight that consumers put on the opinions of other consumers you can advertise all you want, but if, if someone scrolls through your TripAdvisor and they see one stars and awful words, that is going to affect them like 10 years of advertising can't. So um, just be aware that that's out there and that's something that we're, we're on top of right now. 46 million unique <coughs> visitors each month. This is huge. We can't overstate how important it is. And these are people who really aren't necessarily, you know, for example, you, you look at Travel and Leisure or Condé Nast or one of those high-gloss, beautiful travel magazines. A lot of that is called aspirational travel. They're just looking at it in the doctor's office. They keep it on their coffee table to make people think they travel. People on TripAdvisor are going there. They are, they're looking on TripAdvisor because they are taking the trip. People really don't do the aspirational type of behavior on TripAdvisor. They might look at the site and just determine where to go. Uh, but they are definitely going somewhere, so that's a that's a big difference. This is touches on our greatest challenge. You know, I talk with our friends in Tampa Bay and Company all the time. They are extremely lucky from a branding point of view. They have three cities, three Tampa and two others, um, Plant City and what's the other one? What's it? Brandon. Brandon. Okay. Uh, but Tampa is their bread and butter. It's their one city, and that's their name, and that's their brand. Pinellas County, every day we have the tremendous fortune to work with 24 municipalities and 13 chambers of commerce. I haven't met anybody in CBB world who has that rich of a pool to draw from. Um, our challenge there is, as you know, when people talk about Pinellas County, we don't put the word Pinellas County on any advertisements because it wouldn't make sense. We know what Pinellas County is. No one else knows what Pinellas County is. TripAdvisor and most Google and everything is set up by city, by destination, by municipality. A good example of this is last summer, a couple summers ago when Visit Florida did their microsite for Google Earth. You know, you click in and you can see where the webcams are. We wanted to be St. Pete Clearwater. We couldn't because Google Earth doesn't recognize St. Pete Clearwater. We had to choose St. Pete or Clearwater. Uh, so that's kind of our challenge. This is how we dealt with it with TripAdvisor. We have all of our partner destinations. If you go in there and you type in any one of those, it's going to go to a page, and on that page is branding for St. Pete Clearwater. Branding for that destination under the auspices of St. Pete Clearwater. This is a major step forward for us. So now if someone types in Reddington Beach, they'll understand where that is in relation to all of the other things that they, there are to see and do 
in the area. So this is um, something that's been our challenge for the longest time, and I'm sure everyone in this room bumps into that challenge at some point. That's an example. I saw some people saying my area is not up there. It's the sampling of our This is our page. So when you get to, for example, this is Clearwater. These are the branding ads that come up here. This goes to a landing page I'll show you in just a minute. This is the sold cooperative ad there. Um, the cooperative ad is usually sold to a destination resort or, or resort or a partner, I should say, uh, within the closest proximity to Clearwater. 